reload with 5x5. Five 5x5 five. Five five is the best way to build strength, the most basic way. It works, it's foolproof. Let me show you how to cycle your 5x5 five five with the reload progression by Fabio Zonen and Pavel Tsatsoulin. Reload is a book that Fabio and Pavel published. You should get your hands on it. It's amazing. There's a lot of science behind it and it works. I'm gonna to explain to you the five by five reload, the minimalist version with only two exercises, a pull and a press. We're gonna use the sumo deadlift and the barbell military press. This is a barbell program. Five by five works really well. Why with a barbell? Because you can make micro adjustments. You can adjust the weight by five to 10 pounds as you wish progressively each week. The five by five reload program is great for anyone that wants to increase their strength and muscle mass both at the same time. This minimalist program is only two days a week with only two exercises. But if you want a bigger template with more exercises, more days to train, get the book Reload by Strong First. The reload method is quite specific on how you should plan and progress with your weights. Let's go over the details. Hello there in programming land. I'm gonna take you through the reload five by five programming section. We're gonna go over in detail, so attach your seat belt. When you start your program, we're gonna go over three tests. We're only planning two lifts for the plan. If you wanna do more lifts, get the book. Otherwise, the way it works is you'll have to know your one rep max for each exercise. So we have the military press and the deadlift. You'll have to know your five rep max as well. After you've done these two tests, you'll need to perform an endurance test with your 80% of your one rep max. So take your one rep max number, calculate 80%, and you're gonna do a rep max test, meaning do as many perfect reps as possible, of course, without training to failure. Let's go over the numbers for the military press and what I got. I tested my one rep max, of course, after a warm up, you know, build up to it. I got 135 in pounds. My five rep max was 120. I did these consecutively, so right after each other with uh, maybe five, five minute rest. And afterwards, I took 80% of 135 and it gave me 110 and I performed seven reps. So I did as many reps as possible. Then I did the same thing with my deadlift. So my one rep max for my deadlift was 365. My five rep max was 320. And I took 80% of 365, which was 295 and I got seven reps as many reps as possible, that was my result. So the third test you did, the 80% one rep max for as many reps as possible, that's an endurance test, to find out and to calculate how many pounds you should be increasing every week on this program. So let me tell you how that's gonna work. Once you've done your 80% rep max test, once you have that number, you're gonna follow this chart. Let's say if you got five or less you're gonna use 5% of your one rep max. So you're gonna go up 5% every week of your one rep max. And I'm gonna to explain to you how that works shortly. If you got between six and eight reps, which me, I got seven, you're gonna go up 4% of your one rep max every week. If you did your 80% test and you got nine to 10, you're gonna go up 3%. And lastly, if you got 10 or more, and you can keep going, you're only gonna go up 2% every week. Now this percentage is a percentage of your one rep max. So you take your one rep max, and you calculate 5% of that. That should tell you how many pounds a week you should go up. Now if it gives you an odd number, you can round it down or round it up based on what you think is, is right. So going back to the military press, and the third test, the number I got was seven, and that tells me I should take 4% jumps every week on the program. 4% of 135, it gave me 5.4. That means I'm gonna round it to five pounds every week. So I'm gonna show you how that works. Let's go to the deadlift. I got seven reps as well. 
with my 80%. So again, that gave me 4%, 4% jumps. That's going to equal to 14.6. So I'm going to round it up to 15 pound jump every week. All right, now we go into planning the cycle. It's an eight week cycle and we're going to work our way backwards. So the way we work our way backwards is we take our five rep max and we directly plug it into week five. So in week five, my five rep max was in my military press was 120. So my goal in five weeks is to be able to hit five by five with my original five rep max. So now I'm gonna work my way back to establish week one. Now remember the test that we did, we found out that I should be taking five pound jumps every week. So I'm gonna subtract five, uh, five pounds working my way back week by week. Week four is 115. Five by five, week three, 110, week two, 105, week one, 100. So this is all five by five that you're doing for five weeks. Now we're gonna work our way forward. Once you hit your five by five, okay, we're gonna still continue to increase the weight. However, we're gonna go to three by three, okay? Three sets of three. And that's gonna be with 125. On the seventh week, I increase weight again, and I'm gonna go to two by two. Okay, now on week eight, I'm gonna hit that same uh, one rep max I did previously. And if this feels great, I'm gonna increase again by either five pounds or even maybe 10 pounds and hit a new PR. I wrote 135, which was my old PR. For sure, I'm gonna hit that. But if I feel great, I'm gonna even go for 140 and perhaps 145 if I feel strong. So that's your eight week cycle. For the military press, this is my personal one. You're gonna have to do it for yourself for whatever exercise you plan on doing. Could even be bench press. Now I'm gonna explain my deadlift. So again, I'm gonna take my five rep max, plug it directly into week five. My 320 is my last week of my five by five. I'm gonna work my way back. Again, 4% jumps. It's rounded up to 15 pounds. So I'm gonna subtract 15 pounds every week working my way back. So then it's 305, week four, 290, week three, 275, week two, and 260 on week one. My starting point is week one at 260. It's pretty light, so that's gonna be your light day, and I'm gonna explain that in a few seconds. It's important to start light and build up momentum, that way the program works, and you're able to peak on a certain day or a certain week. On week six, I'm gonna keep increasing the weight to 335, go to three by three. On week seven, increasing again at 350, two by two. And on my last week, on week eight, I'm gonna go back to my original one rep max, 365, and perhaps I'll hit a new PR like 375 or maybe 380 or more. Who knows? Now remember, this is the minimalist program that I'm explaining. For sure, you can add more lifts. You can add more days. You can do three days a week, four days a week with a full program of assistance lifts. But I'm just going to explain with two days a week with only two lifts, the military press and a sumo deadlift. So it's two days a week. And on day one, you're going to train the deadlift heavy and the military press light. What does heavy and light mean? Heavy means you're gonna follow your cycle that we planned, the eight week plan. So you start week one and you build it up every week. That's heavy. The light portion means that you're gonna stay on the first week, whatever you got for that weight, for the five by five on your first week, it's gonna stay the same every single week. You're not increasing weight. You're keeping the same weight for the entire eight weeks on the light, exercise. The deadlift on day one is going to be my heavy exercise. I'm going to follow my eight week cycle. I'm going to start really light at 260 and build it up to a PR. And my military press, again, I'm going to start really light at 100 pounds for five by five and it's going to stay there every single week. I'm going to keep doing the same uh, routine. On day two, I switch them around. I do my military press heavy. That means I follow my eight week cycle. I keep progressing weekly every week. And the deadlift stays the same. If it's light, it, I keep the same weight for five by five as a light exercise for the entire eight week program. I hope this makes sense. I know there's a lot of numbers, a lot of calculation. 
take your time, go over the video again, and you can just do it with one lift to plan to start right away and keep it simple. Frequently asked questions for this program is how long should I rest is really take your time. I have went as little as three minutes or sometimes two minutes or one minute on my light day and as much as five to ten minutes sometimes on my heavy days when I'm getting towards the end of my cycle. So really take your time, make sure you hit your reps and you don't go to failure. You want to succeed with every single lift and um, complete and stay strong. If you're doing this program with only two lifts, you can do other exercises on other days. So if you're playing a sport, if you're doing martial arts, or if you wanna do, let's say, Simple and Sinister, or The Quick and the Dead on other days, because it's only two lifts a week, this allows you to have variety into this program. Alternatively, if you're doing three or four days, of the reload program. There's little to no room for anything else. I hope you enjoyed my explanation of the reload 5x5. Try it out, it's definitely a foolproof program.